Stanley, you should be ashamed of yourself. Honestly. Fresh off his excoriation of HDS News Force associate producer and Radio 100 commentator Stanley Lucien on the morning variety show on Friday morning, Prime Minister Alan Chastney later in the evening took his outrage to the House of Assembly in his rebuttal on the debate of the appropriation bill. What's at the heart of the latest controversy? Well, the government leader made it clear that he would not tolerate drawing parallels between Gastry's East MP Philip J. Pierre and criticism perceived to be a diminution of the late Sir John Compton's record in Miku South. You know, earlier today, Mr. Speaker, I try not to respond to a lot of things that I hear on the media, but sometimes when people, when you hear something as egregious as I heard this morning, I was compelled to call the show this morning. That there was a particular host this morning, Mr. Speaker, who tried to indicate and make a comparison between Sir John and Castries East and suggest that Sir John had not done anything for his constituency. Mr. Speaker, that is so blatantly disrespectful to a man that we know as a father of our nation. But I can assure you that the work that he has done in Miku South and Miku North and in particular the two Denry projects, which were really the heart of Sir John going back to the 50s of simply getting people their land. The reason why Bananas was called Green Gold, Mr. Speaker, is because of the genius that Sir John brought to it. Lucien became just the latest media worker to draw the ire of the Prime Minister, starting almost five years ago with the public dressing down of ex-News Force reporter, now NBC employee, Rihanna Isidore, over alleged missteps in the coverage of Coco Palm Hotel and Prince Harry's visit to St. Lucia. I'm embarrassed for you, okay, and I'm ashamed of you as a journalist. The latest row was precipitated by the so-called Bell Rose Doctrine. The opposition coinage of Senator Fortuna Bell Rose, the UWP's Castries East hopeful stake on party support, voting patterns, and public service in communities which did not support the incumbent electorally. In this case, Castries East. The statement has not been disavowed by the Prime Minister, providing fodder for news commentary, which led to the dressing down of commentator Stanley Lucien. For his part, the journalist who took the high road during appearances on Zafe Nu and out goes in on Monday, insists that a robust debate and exchange of ideas should not devolve into mocking opponents, trading insults, and ad hominem attacks. I was surprised at the tone he took, and, um, and you know, I, I really don't want to go down that route. I don't think, you know, for, for a station, our station, we represent our station. For me as an individual as well, I don't want to go down in this sort of exchange. I think, if anything, we keep it to the to, to whatever is at hand, whatever is being discussed at hand, I mm -hmm. think. And uh, when you start getting down to, you know, even name calling or subtle jabs, it's probably because you, you're running out of the argument and you're losing the argument or you, you cannot justify what you're saying, what your position is. Mm. I, I thought it unfortunate and um, I thought it very, very unfortunate, Andre, for, for some of what was said to have been said. I don't think it was justified. I don't think it was warranted. And uh, it, 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 was, it was very, very unfortunate. Lucien is under no illusion of the at times historically adversarial relationship between the press and those who occupy the corridors of power. But a measure of civility and maturity is expected. Having said this, interestingly, and a reporter's role, Andre, will always be a little, in a sense, in other words, a reporter and a, a politician will never make pleasant bedfellows. Mm -hmm. Never. If you are too cozy with politicians, it means you're not doing your job properly. You are not, because inevitably, even if the person is your friend and they get into office, you are going to be doing and saying things and raising questions that may make them very uncomfortable. Some more uncomfortable than others, some more agitated than others, mm -hmm. but that is the reality, Andre. And so over time, you, you would expect a certain level of friction, but you expect that to be dealt with and handled 
in a, in a particular way, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, it's, it's disappointing when it doesn't happen that way. In the recent past, Prime Minister Alan Shastney has repeatedly complained about what he views as a lack of consistency and equitability in news reporting and media coverage. But critics argue that in a democratic society with a free press, politicians, including the holder of the highest office in the land, can disagree with pundits without being disagreeable. Okay, Winston Springer Jr., HDS News Force. It's something that's so easy to be able to rectify. And I think that actually, in fact, what you did was malicious.